Hi, hello friends! Welcome back to my channel, Jillian. And for today, I am going to share with you about Turkish coffee. So this is the famous coffee here in Middle East countries. So first, I'm going to share with you how, how it is look like. So this is, friends, the Turkish coffee. It is brewed and smells so intense coffee. Sa so, amoy pa lang, panalo ka na. Super bango, kapeng kape talaga. Matapang pa to sa barako. Kaping barako ng Pilipinas. Ayan. So, we have here different kinds of coffee pots and sizes. The purpose of this is to serve our Turkish coffee. Kasi friends, medyo mahal to. Ayan. To be honest, medyo mahal to. So, ganito mo siya mabibili sa mga coffee shop. Disclaimer po, hindi ito sponsored. Ito talaga yung iniinom namin dito. So, ayan friends, it comes from different kinds of sizes and designs. Ayan, so, maganda yung mga designs nito and different kinds of handle. Kapag aluminum siya friends, ito, madaling mag-init yan. So, you have to use coffee holder. Ayan. Kailangan mo ng holder para but hindi ka mapaso. Pero ito friends, look at this. It is made of the wood kaho ito. Kaya, kahit wala ng holder, you can still hold that while you are doing your Turkish coffee. And you have this different and special kind of Turkish coffee. Ayan. So, ito friends, ano to? Glass. Nababasag yan. And the rest are all unbreakable na. Ano na siya? Parang kaldero lang. Lata. Ayan. So, if you are preparing good for one person you can use this one to save your coffee and the water maliliit lang po ang mga coffee cups ng ating turkish coffee dahil super 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 strong to napakatapang niya friends talagang hindi ka makakatulog first time i tried this i can't sleep for like one night it's so strong for me because i'm not used to drink it but by years little little or shway shway I can now drink this and sleep normally kasi nasanay na yung katawan natin sa ganito katapang na kape Ayan, for all those coffee lovers you can try this one this will make you always wake and active and will not make you feel sleepy at all so yung lasa niya ay super 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 tapang talaga na isang higop mo lang Parang uminom ka na ng dalawang ano, Nescafe na dalawang tasang Nescafe. Ayun, sa sobrang tapang niya. So, ayan friends. Ang bango. Super bango. This is only to give us all ideas that this coffee can be seen here in Middle East. Makikita natin ito lagi sa Middle East countries and some in some coffee shops. Ayan, famous to. Pambansang kape ng mga Middle East countries. Turkish coffee. So friends, this is how we are going to prepare or make or cook or do our Turkish coffee. We just only put hot water in it. If you are single person, you can use small coffee, Turkish coffee pots to save your coffee. So friends, this is the Turkish coffee pots. Maliliit lang talaga sila dahil sobrang tapak niya. And we have also this. We just have to wait that it will boil. Ayan, pakukuluan lang po natin yung tubig. So, one small uh, teaspoon of Turkish coffee. Good. Okay na yun. Kung gusto nyo medyo mas matapang pa doon, you can have it one and a half. Ayan. There are some kind of coffee lovers who prepare to add it with sugars. You can like sweet, sweet Turkish coffee or you can have it like medium, little bit of sugar or without sugar. 
with me or without sugar at all so for me friends i prepare no sugar or without sugar so turkish coffee ko Ayan. so pakukuluan lang natin siya So, it is usually served with water, friends. Kailangan may tubig talaga to. Nakasama. Pag nagsiserve po tayo o pag iinom tayo ng Turkish coffee. Kasi after one or two sip of this coffee, you have to take water. Para magkaroon ka ng break. So, sobrang tapang niya. So, mainit to. Be careful. Yan, kulo na. Yan, yeah, close the fire. friends, pwede yung half boiled or boiled na boiled. Depende. Ayan yung kung ano gusto nyo. You can add also some chocolate or some sweets beside the Turkish coffee. And then you can drink it. Ayan. para sa akin to ang ginawa ko ngayon kasi kagigising ko lang ito yung panggising ko pa usually pag tayo mga Pilipino pag nagigising tayo yung una natin ginagawa uupo tapos magaduho ganun so I still want to sleep more people like oh I still want to sleep more but I have to wake up I have to do my daily routine I have to go to my work to clean to whatever you want to do minsan ano pa tayo yung grogi pa grogi pa gusto pa nating matulog so mag Turkish coffee tayo friends ah oh, amoy pa lang gising ka na mmm sa po ng kape nasa dila pa. Kaya hindi tayo yung tubig. So, ganun po yung pag-inom ng Turkish coffee. Kung kaya nyo, pwede nyo rin tong gain. Pero ang tapang talaga nito. Kaya, kung napapansin nyo, friends, dito, Pag may umiinom ng Turkish coffee, napakaliit na sa sa inaabot ng isang oras. Kasi sobrang tapang. Matapang pa sa alak. Mm. Nakaranas na ba kayo uminom ng ano, kapling barako? Have you ever tried kapling barako? Parang ganito rin yun. Yan. Ano yung sabi sa Pilipinas kapag mahilig ka sa Turkish coffee? Nanervous din ka. Dito, well, act. Yung Turkish coffee na to, no calories. Kaya, nakakapagpapayat din ito. Saka nakakapag parelax. Nakakatanggal ng antok. Sinasabi rin dito na yung Turkish coffee nakakatanggal ng bilbil. Ewan ko lang kung totoo yun. Kape po, nakalimutan ko ng mga alok. Hmm. So friends, kung napapansin nyo, 
ubus na yan pero meron pa rin natira. So, hindi na yan pwedeng inumin. Ang maiinom lang natin, yung purong kape lang na nasa hot water. Ayan. So, eto hindi na. You have to leave it. Okay? Ganyan lang yan. O. Hindi na natin ito kailangan simot sarap. Leave it. Hala. It's done. Hindi na yun iniinom. Ito yung purpose ng tubig. Kasi ang lahat na Turkish coffee, naiiwan sa dila. So, sobrang sapang niya. Pag ininuman mo ng tubig, parang nahuhugasan yung dila mo. Hindi mo na mapipil na may kape ka pa pala. Ayun. So, first, I hope I share with you something new and something exciting about for those coffee lovers. And it can... You can do it for yourself or you can order it in coffee shop. So, ano to, pambansang kape ng mga Middle East countries or anywhere famous to. So, try. Why, why not to try? Life is trying ngayon. So, 